Hi, I'm Nick Bollig, and this week I've decided to show you uh, one of my favorite tools uh, for discernment. Right? So this is when you need a yes or no uh, question or answer. <laughs> you need to have it in the form of a yes or no to get your answer. Right? So you might be wondering what the heck I'm talking about, and so that can be used. And so it's a way to get an answer from that inner wisdom, right? Uh, we all have it. We just sometimes don't know how to tap into it or trust it. Uh, so there's a quick and easy way to do that, which you could use uh, simply for even asking, like finding out what what uh, foods are irritating you. If you're having an issue with dietary stuff, you can be like, hold it in your hand and ask your body, is this good for me or will this hurt me? Like So, you, right, it's choosing your questions are also part of uh, the skill. And uh, the other thing is for empaths. I've been, uh, a lot of people have been coming to me lately that are really sensitive to energy. Um, and the first thing that you need to do, the first line of defense if you're empathic is to be able to ask the question, is this mine? Right? As soon as you realize it's mine, then yeah, I got something to deal with. <laughs> it's not mine, all of a sudden I've got a boundary set. It's just not mine. Right? And you will no longer take on that energy. And so the technique is called the truth spot. So there's somewhere in your body that responds particularly to non-truth. I mean, many of us have what we call that gut response, right? Um, so I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to want you to pay attention to what happens in your body. It may not be your gut. For everybody, it's a little different. You might get a heart constriction or a jaw clench or an eye twitch or who knows? If everybody is different, so just pay attention. Uh, first, we'll just bring a yes, which should be calm. So I just want you to think about or some about something or someone that you love. And you close your eyes if that helps, and that should just bring you into a place of ease and calm. It should feel good. Okay. And now pay attention. Pay attention to any physical responses in your body. When I ask you to think of something that you extremely dislike, you'll get a bigger response, <laughs> the uh, more irritating <laughs> that it is or the more untrue that it is. So just think of that something you know, that you really dislike, even if it's like you know, something going on in the world. And, and then just silently say to yourself, I love that. And pay attention. Pay attention to somewhere in your body going, ooh, yeah, see, no. <laughs> and if you're not sure, that's okay. You can just try that again, perhaps with something that's a little, that you dislike even stronger. Mm -hmm. right? Bring back, <laughs> for those of you that caught it, it's like, Ugh. yeah. So bring back the, uh, the thing that you truly love or the person that you truly love. And just invite that, so that's your yes. Mm -hmm. And so now we can test that. Oh. Uh, once you have got a sense of, oh, I think this is that part of my body that responds. So pay attention to that area. Uh, and now silently think to yourself, my name is something that it's not. Like, let's say Rumpelstiltskin. And pay attention. Do you get that same response in your body? And that same, no, that is not true response. Good. Once you do, bring back, uh, my name is what your true name is. And it should be, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Mm -hmm. Calm again. And so go ahead and practice that with different things. So it's a really good tool to have in your back pocket. Um, uh, and you can check out my blog if you'd like to know more on um, this kind of thing. and. Empathy and what to do about it. I got lots to share.